here it is. It's where it all began, the Trianon Ballroom in Regina. It was torn down a couple of years ago, but this is how it looked. Now imagine some snow and a bitterly cold night in January of 1933. Inside, this music was playing. Mom and Dad were dancing, and they fell in love. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. If we're to talk about beginnings, let's talk about beginnings. Because this is really the story of how two people from opposite ends of the world found each other in a small town on the bald prairie of Canada. This is little Tammy Gerstein in Shumsk, Poland, plump and pretty. She grew up there, becoming active in Jewish youth groups, like this presentation with Hashomer Hatzair. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, a young Sammy Schrag was pursuing his education and love of the violin at Whitmore Public School. You know, even in school, young Sammy had all the earmarks of a good-looking young man. Meanwhile, in the old country, at age 17, before emigrating to North America, Thelma posed for a last picture with some of her classmates. Dapper Sam, here at Regina's legislative buildings, was already cutting quite a figure. He was tall, lean, and handsome. Then again, Tammy Gerstein was growing up too. She had already acquired some <clears throat> feminine savvy, as in this come up and see me sometime pose, when she arrived in Canada. Sam, totally unaware of Thelma's existence, was beginning to feel his masculinity. In this Muscle Beach photo, he had everything, except a tan. Meanwhile, in Roblin, Manitoba, Thelma was teaching Hebrew school. Here she is with her first class, not a genius among them. Mom began pursuing her teaching career in Regina. She didn't find any geniuses in her class, but she did find her true love outside the classroom. <laughs> it was Dad. Mom and Dad became engaged in July of 1934. Gosh, they made a handsome couple. He with a little hint of a mustache, she with a face of an angel. They were married that November, 50 years ago. Well, then came the kids. First, yours truly on a trike. I mean, I didn't come into the world like that, but to listen to Mom, you'd think the trike came with me. Then Dolly. What a cutie. This picture was taken in Watrous. That's where we nicknamed her Dolly By Me Shrag. We positioned her appropriately in front of some trees where she thought the money came from. I'm only kidding, of course. This picture was taken exactly 10 years later. From 44 to 54, the family was growing. Not in number, just in height and other directions. And here's mom and dad. 25 years ago on their silver wedding anniversary. Incidentally, some of you were there at the old Trianon Ballroom where the celebration was held. After that, everyone got busy. The children were getting married and presenting mom and dad with grandchildren. Here's my contribution. Jackie on the left, Lisa on the right. In no time from babes in arms, the kids grew up. Jackie quickly acquired a penchant for chutzpah by breaking through police lines with a girlfriend to present Queen Elizabeth with a flag in front of the Saskatchewan Hotel. Sister Dolly, meanwhile, had met Lawrence. Talk about your handsome couple, eh? It wasn't long before they got into the act, providing Mom and Dad with another set of grandchildren, Mark and Michelle. Uh, that's Michelle making all the noise. Somehow, once you become grandparents, it always seems like a cue to take a long and grandiose trip to escape babysitting duties. So off they went. Israel, several times. Paris, Rome, Spain. Here with dear friends and Farkak the Pigeons. Gee, was it only 10 years ago? Mom and Dad's 40th wedding anniversary? The only thing that has changed over the years is that the cakes keep getting bigger, but their appetites keep getting smaller. Just five years ago, at the 45th. Do you remember? We all toasted them and said we looked forward to celebrating their 50th. And we said it again last November in Winnipeg. That's where we celebrated Mark and Michelle's bar and bat mitzvahs and mom and dad's 49th. 
And true to our promises then, here we are again for the 50th. And to think from this, and this, came this, this, and all these. Well, you know, it kind of makes you uh, want to join in. Let me call you sweetheart, I'm in love with you. Let me hear you whisper that you love me.